Hello and welcome. My name is Godfred Ozu, aka the Gentle Fred, and I'm making this tutorial for the guitar grid. Okay, today we'll be doing this very nice lens flare effect right in Blender. I get I bet I bet you guys are wondering how we can do this in Blender, you know. We're not gonna use any any note compositor and all those long or tutorials and all those things and long processes and all gonna we want the fastest way we can get lens flare and I found that I created this way I've never seen any tutorial on this before if there is any kudos to the person but for me right now I created this myself I found it myself and um well whoever has found this kudos to the person all right without talking too much I want us to get into it let's go what we're gonna do is uh, <coughs> we're gonna create a new blend file all right so start up new blend all right we got a new cube we press X to delete we go to the top, top view which is number seven on your, on your number pad all right so we go to create a new plane we go to tab mode by pressing the tab we go to edit mode by pressing the tab we click on one vertex out of all the vertices we press ctrl i to inverse it and that that inverses and selects the remaining ones apart from the one all right then we press x to delete i did all the vertex now it's left with one vertex right, i select the vertex in edit mode i just arrange it very well translate it i move it for it to be i go to phone view to see very well i think it's perfectly okay so what i do is I press Control Alt and Zero on your normal pad. What that what that what that does is it creates the it brings the camera to the specific place where you're looking at in the 3D view. Okay, now what I have to do is I have to carry it, I have to go back into edit object mode and just take this here just to mimic the lens flare, original lens flare. Alright, so I have it there. That's where the light is gonna be struck in. It's gonna be struck in down here. If I move it here will be striking down here okay but you know what the lens flare is before you even start watching this all right without much talking let's go on straight up on time for your mind all right um we create a new material increase this we increase this all right then we we'll go to halo we we'll increase this straight up we leave the remaining settings the way it is and we go to s go this is the most important part of this tutorial this is the most important part don't joke with this flare all right um let me just create let me create let me create a uv image editor this is what we're going to be rendering our effect all right as we can see we've started seeing a lot of effects here this is what we're going to do it's not that much but you can see something opening up all right normally lens flares appear on black the best thing is so we're going to change our world color the horizon color to black all right okay let's let's preview that into perfect that's what we're looking for all right let's get on go to material setting we we'll bring on the ring and what the ring does is it creates little rings around it let me let's preview it in here it's gonna look like all right i guess you can see what it creates this rings around it that's what this ring creates and this line creates lines that pass through it like that all right let's i've added it so let's let's preview it and see <coughs> perfect okay let's begin, we're beginning to get what we want now we now let's get into flare all right now the f i have some basic settings i have for it so for size i use five and for the boost i use 0.5 you can tweak it if you want and this one i prefer one one yeah and for these i use 17 and for this i use five now i bet you if i render this it looks pretty beautiful pretty pretty beautiful really really beautiful wonderful and this can be moved all about this can be moved all about here in different ways to create it 
We have all this in Blender. You don't know. All right. I'm rendering it. It's taking some time. I think um, Blender is freezing due to the, the screen capture software I'm using right now. Um, I hope I hope it comes after this render. I just close and go. That's a very unique way of doing it. And one thing I also learned over is um, things like this. I actually learned about lens flare, and I actually learned a lot from um, this After effect tutorials. Normally in Blender, for you to create a wonderful effect in Blender, what I advise you to is um, go to other soft use other tutorials for other softwares learn them look at the way learn the way it's been done in other softwares and apply them in blender try to change try to make that in blender and you get your result that's what i actually did a lot of lens for the tutorials from from after effect and i brought them into this one okay so this is what we have and to composite this we can we can now use the compositor uh, normally a lot of people would think screen the blend mode the blend mode screen is the best for black but I noticed that add is even better because add in add when you use screen it decreases the, the strength of the illuminance it decreases the strength of the light in it but when you use add it actually brings the light and everything in it All right okay so I think this is the end of our tutorial Thank you so much. My name is Godfrey Uso, aka The Gentle Fred, and this tutorial is for Digital Grid. Bye.